Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Um, today we are going to be stuffing my wallet, my sinking funds, um, stuffing some bills, and I have some new cash envelopes to show y'all. I'm going to get right to it because this was actually completely unexpected. So if you are interested in this type of video, then keep watching. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't want to miss another video, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below and let's get started. All right, y'all, so you have seen these envelopes in my shop. These are my um, nude pink ombre envelopes. They just go from like a nice baby pink to kind of a pale pink to more of a beige color. Um, they come in these four colors. I have only made these in a seven size. So I did go ahead and make them in a six size as well um, to put in the shop. So um, let me see. I guess y'all can see it like this the four colors there and then it's just the same four colors in the larger size so um i just wanted to go ahead and make them in the a6 size because i always was supposed to and just never got around to it i made these specifically when my um pink and nude wallets came out so but now we have size a6 and I definitely wanted to do that before the end of the month. Also, um, I went ahead and just made one more design because I actually had been wanting to create a design like this for a while, but couldn't really figure it out. But I figured it out. Also, um, when I took the pictures for the nude ombre bigger size envelopes, um, that will be my last session of like taking photos for the year. So that's why I went ahead and was like, let me figure this style out and get it out there. Um, my brother is my photographer. So this will be the last time that he's taking uh, pictures for me for 2022. So that's why I went ahead and came out with this last design, last cash envelope design for the year. I was not planning to do this, but here we are. This is my new design for the cash envelopes. It's more of a like minimalist style, not so much like color. I do plan on making more colorful ones um, like purple, blue in the new year, but this is gonna be the last cash envelope design for the year. And um, I got this idea from the planner community. I've seen them make like planner dashboards in this style and I just love it. As a matter of fact, I actually have it. So this is my planner and this is the dashboard that inspired me. So yeah, I wanted to bring it into a cash envelope form because you know I'm in a budget community. Yes, so this is the design. Um, I really, really love it. <laughs> I love it so much and I've wanted to make something like this for a while. So this is size A6 and then of course, we have size A7 and y'all will see these in my wallet. So the new cash envelopes will be available this coming Monday um, on the website as well as the Etsy shop. So that's Monday. Other than the January stickers, that's the last thing that I have um, scheduled to have created for this year. So getting into the budget, um, we are in the second week getting ready to go into the third week of November. So I did have two no spend days, including today and Monday. I had a couple bills due and a couple paydays. Um, so today I forgot was Veterans Day, y'all. So I like had my cash breakdown ready to go and the banks are closed. So I had to go to the ATM and then come back home and like figure out the change, which was very interesting. But thank God, all but two things I was able to exchange. So for this upcoming week, um, this bill's already been paid. And then I have two more bills due next Friday. And then a couple bills at the end of the month. Um, I will be going on vacation next Friday until the 24th, which is Thanksgiving Day. So I will still be active on social media, but I won't be in the shop. I will make sure all the orders do this week go out um, in this week 
and um i will also not be doing a youtube video next friday so y'all will see me back on youtube on the 25th which is black friday um so y'all will see that i'm gonna go ahead and show you december's spread since i won't be doing a video next friday so these are the stickers for the december calendar and budget um december budget december dashboard weekly check-in will be two pages sinking funds um business budget debt tracker and my transaction log and savings tracker all right y'all so i went ahead and pretty much filled in uh everything for this week and what i spent i just held on to my spending envelope so i have five dollars left over so that means that i spent 15 and then in gas i spent 49 um and so everything is filled out what i'm gonna go ahead and do real quick is just subtract what i spent so 664 six D4, not 664. 64 minus 15 is 49 for what I have remaining for this month. Um, 210, what's that gas? 210 minus 49 is 161. Um, for groceries, 237.92. And then I spent 57.24. So for the rest of the month, I have 180, 68, um, home 50 minus 15 is 35 and then eating out 60 minus 20 is 40, um, meds, I'm not budgeting anything this month and then for beauty, I didn't do any, um, anything beauty related this week so i have still the 105 remaining um so let's see for the bank i am rolling over money to put back in the bank for the end of this month i really need to put this on top so I saved, what, $6? So, so far I have 10, 15, 21, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So, so far I have $30 saved from the cash envelopes for this month that's gonna go back into the bank. And today is the 11th. I just flipped over to my savings tracker. I'm keeping a count of how much cash, cash I'm saving. So we have a total balance of $30. All right, y'all, so I did have my um, denomination broken down, this one as, as well as another sticky note, but your girl forgot that it was Veterans Day today. Like, for some reason, I feel like Veterans Day is usually like in another month, but maybe I'm just tripping. Completely forgot that it's Veterans Day. So I had to go get money out of the ATM and then I had to come back home and use my sinking funds and my um saving challenge binder to make denominations so yeah that was interesting so here are my denominations for this week um the only thing that changed i did go up in spending as well as um eating out by ten dollars because i'm going to go to the movies this weekend because wakanda forever is out and I have to go see it. Um, I went to the movies last weekend as well to see Till, um, which was a good movie, really good. So I'm going to see the movies this weekend. So I just add a little extra in my eating and in my spending envelopes. I don't plan on spending, like eating food at the movie theater. I ate food at the movie theater last week. So I don't plan on doing that this week. I just want to get my ticket, but I might get like popcorn or something. I don't know. Medicine and beauty are not getting stuff. Y'all saw my bank envelope. I'm going to put my coins in the box. I'm going to scan my receipts for Fetch Rewards. I just got a $25 Amazon gift card that I'm going to use um really soon and then my cards this is the envelope that i use to hold my cards in because i just 
started using this when I was using my jelly binder and it's so easy and convenient. I just love it. So I continue to use this envelope for my card. So we are back with the um, Sink and Funds binder. This is my new card. Now I just made this card and just started using it, but um, I can't use it today because I think two of these I had to um, adjust the amounts because of the banks being closed and me not being able to um, get all of the, the denominations that I needed. So that's okay. I just like thank God that I was even able to break down the, the denominations because um, I had already told y'all on Instagram that I was going to show y'all the new envelopes in this video. So I'm like, Lord, <laughs> I need to be able to do my video. So no complaints. Birthday is getting five for 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. It actually just finished raining. I get like y'all love the rain sounds in the videos and it's so crazy because it's like it feels like it's been raining every friday for i don't know how long and it literally just stopped before i started recording this business is not getting anything this week um but it has 30 dollars lasik is going to get a five for 1,100, 120, 125. So 1,125, my goal is 3,000. Um, so probably will take me a while to get there. I am hoping that once I kind of redo my budget for the new year, that I'll be able to be a little bit more intentional about saving for certain funds, but we'll see. Out outings is going to get a five. This is an envelope that I went wild in, I want to say like two months ago. And just completely depleted it. It had like a hundred dollars and it's all gone. So we're at 26. Car maintenance is getting 25 and um, I was gonna wait until my, well, I'm still gonna try to wait until my vacation week to go get my car maintenance. I'm trying to hold out. It is making a noise that it, well, I think it started making this noise about a month ago. So I have that to get taken care of as well as the other things on my little yellow slip in here of things that I need to do. So in car maintenance, I have one, two, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 465. So this is the amount that I'm gonna have when I go to the, to the dealership because I'm not stuffing sinking funds or saving challenges next week. Um, I'm only doing cash envelopes. I still will probably post like a real um, and a TikTok. So if y'all still want to see, you can see me over there. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous is not getting anything. It has 25, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And another reason, y'all, why, why I'm not, um, some of these funds you'll see that I'm not stuffing today is because of Veterans Day. And so my Friday paycheck it's not here <laughs> uh, it's, it's not here my Friday paycheck is not here so I was not able to pull out a little bit more and this is a week that I have to put money aside for bills so that's the reason why a lot of these envelopes are not being stuffed so I got to put bill money aside this week and I 
didn't get paid today. So gifts has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, and I'm not stuffing anything in here. So that sucks. Like as much as I plan ahead, y'all know me, like I'm a planner, but this just goes to show like you just, you're not perfect and you can't plan for everything. Um, travel has five. And let's see, church has 22. So <laughs> I can't stuff none of these today, it sucks. Like if I didn't have to pay bills or will put bill money aside, I could have stuffed all this. Medical is getting stuffed with 20. So it usually gets 15, but I wasn't able to break that denominate denomination down or break that bill down. So I had to keep the 20, which puts me at 100, 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. And I will need this because I'm going to get my flu shot next Friday and my insurance doesn't cover it. So I have to pay for it. So, yeah. So these are my envelopes, guys. My um, fall and winter envelopes, like a light, nice little mixture. I'm going to go ahead and grab my black binder and come back and stuff those envelopes. All right, y'all, so this is my black binder, which I consider my low priority binder. Um, again, it's just considered low because I don't pull um, out of these envelopes as frequently as I pull out of the pink ones. So, so car, car tags is getting two. And I'm definitely trying to you know, stay very intentional about, well, I'm intentional about car maintenance. That gets stuffed all the time. But about car tags and car tires, I want to be very intentional about those. I think one of my subscribers was telling me that she wanted to start a car tire, car tag envelope. And I told her that she should because one, one thing I've noticed like on this journey, the reason why I made separate envelopes for these things is because y'all, I would save like hundreds of dollars in my car maintenance fund and then, you know, completely forget about the registration every year, completely forget about, you know, every three, about three years, I'll need like all new tires. I had like 400 and something dollars um, saved in my car maintenance fund, y'all. And one time it, the whole thing went to tires. So I had no money left for actual maintenance. And I was just like, uh-uh, like never again. So if you don't want your registration or your tires to eat into your actual maintenance of your car, I would definitely split those envelopes up. So car tax has 50, 40, uh, 20, 40, 45, 50, one, two, three, and four, 54. So $54, I don't have to get my car re-registered until next summer and I'm already halfway with the amount that I need to do that, but then still have the hundreds of dollars in my car maintenance fund that's not gonna have to be used for my registration. It works out. Um, electronics is not gonna get anything. We are right at $300, 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 295, 300, 305. Um, emergency fund is going to get stuffed, which pretty much all of my saving challenge money, I'm doing the 52 weeks this year. All of that, pretty much all of that money is going to go to my emergency fund. So I can go ahead and hit that 2K mark. Um, so I have 1,000, 1,200, 250, 270, 275. Um, giveaways, it's not going to get anything but I do have a five in here for the next giveaway, which will be sometime in the next year. It'll be um, 2023. 
Christmas is going to get five. I also wanted to say that for the um, new envelopes, the black and white ones, I don't have a name for it. Um, that pattern is typically called like grid, but I'm not sure that I want to name my envelopes that. So if y'all come up with a name or y'all have a name or any ideas, please let me know. Christmas has 1200, 250, 270, 275. Functions is not getting anything because it reached its goal of $100 and that 100 is in the bank. I save this money every year for the holidays specifically um, for like contributing to different holiday events and things that I may go to. Car tires is going to get $1. It usually gets two but again I could not I had a I think an extra dollar or something I couldn't break it down so it's getting one 20 40 45 50 51 52 53 clothing has four dollars in here um, that I probably could take out and Put into another envelope because I haven't went shopping since the summer that's why it's only four dollars prime is also empty so but I'm holding on to those envelopes because I do want to get back to putting some rollover money in them I'm just not sure exactly how to do it so the last thing that we're gonna stuff with the rest of the money will be my bills so I'll be back with those all right y'all so for today the bills that we are going to, to stuff will be my car insurance, my Apple and Hulu subscription, and my office rent. So we'll start with the subscriptions. And hopefully, if I did these denominations right, I'll have everything I need. But that's always hit or miss for whatever reason. So Apple is getting 12 so 10, 11, 12, and um, Hulu is getting eight. So five, six, seven, and eight. Um, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, um, 20. Next will be my car insurance. There's a few bills that I actually need to go up on, including this one. I think I told y'all about this a while back that I wanted to go up on my car insurance just to have more coverage now that it's um, paid off. Um, so I have not done that yet, but I'm also, my first goal is to go up on my um my first goal is to go up on my health insurance before I go up on my car insurance. Okay, y'all. So I have to redo this real quick because car insurance is getting the 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 80. I think. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Y'all, something is, is not right. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I forgot to stuff my saving challenge envelope. That's what it is. Whew, okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Ugh, it's been one of those days trying to figure this stuff out. Okay. I forgot about my saving challenge. So that's my car insurance. 
Now my office rent is 50 and this goes to my parents. I did attempt to pay them more as you can see here and they refused to accept it, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. So we are still at $50. Okay, and then I will grab my saving challenge envelope. Okay, y'all. So, um, right now I'm doing the 52 weeks savings challenge. And we are at the 42. So, I thought I could stuff it last week, but I didn't. So, now I'm stuffing it this week. And this is the second half of the year. The first half of the year I did put into the bank. I did use $200 of the first half of the year. Not gonna lie. So I'm $200 short. Um, this, the second half of the year, I have not touched any of this. I just missed um, a couple of stuffings. So I missed one in October. And technically I'm supposed to be at 43 instead of 42. So I've technically miss two but next week like i said i'm not doing a youtube video but i probably if i can remember hopefully will still stuff next week so then the last week of november so that i can be on track for november then hopefully be on track for december and then i'm only missing this one okay so that is the end of the video guys i'm sorry it was a little all over the place today um i just was not expecting to not be able to get my money out the right way and all that good stuff but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and um just a reminder that the a6 size pink nude ombre envelopes will be in the shop monday morning so will the grid um envelopes in both sizes and i won't be here on video next friday probably will still post a reel um and I will be posting on social media, on Instagram, and probably put some posts on my community feed. And so if you have any questions about anything, you can let me know. If you're interested in anything, it's in the description box. Um, thank you all for letting me know how your November is going. Well, you can let me know how it's going this week. If not, we'll check in at the end of the month to see how November went for you guys. So I'll see y'all on Black Friday. Bye.